Пока, пока, пока. What's up you guys, Big Bobby or Tales of the King Royal Las Vegas, New Mexico for the 17th annual Rough Rider Motorcycle Rally. Stay tuned, King Life. All right, you guys, right here at the 17th annual Rough Rider Motorcycle Rally in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Right here to my right, I got Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Nice to meet you, Bob. How, what do you think so far of the rally? I like it. Nice rally, nice day, you know. Weather's behaving. Weather's behaving after three years. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice to be back. The last time we were here, you guys, was 2019, so we're excited to be back. Now, what do we got here? We got a 2000 Heritage Softail, Candy Wild Cherry with the white. You did all the paint, right? Yeah, I did all the I did the paint job. Color Santa Polish did the body work. Uh, my friend uh, Joey Demi okay. did the leaping, pin striping, and uh, I stretched out the fenders for me. Beautiful, looks beautiful, bro. Thank you. And you guys came from where? Uh, from Española, New Mexico. How far is that? About 100 miles from here. Oh, it's a good little smash. Yeah. Good little smash. Right yeah. on. Right on, Jacob. Appreciate right it, bro. Hope Thank you have a good brother. time in the rally. Here we am with Art and Ernest, and uh, you guys created this event, correct? Yes. Yes, we started this in uh, 2006. It actually was born in probably 2005. Okay. Uh, we, we got together and we said, hey, we need to put something for our town and uh, get it going, and a rally sounded good. So we picked the name because it was the first reunion of the Teddy Roosevelt was held here. Okay. Uh, so that's why we named it the Rough Rider Motorcycle Rally. That's what it, that's what it was. It was uh, the Rough Rider reunion. It started with a bunch of local guys. You know, we started it. And we started doing it, and uh, we've been here since day one. Wow. You know, so it's been a. We're the only two original members that are still. Really? We have, a, we have a smaller committee now, but we're the only original members left. So I mean, and we do we do a lot of a lot of things for uh, for our community. We do a scholarship run now. Okay. We do. Uh, we give three scholarships away. So that's what we do. Also, we're not just the rally. Right. Right. We, we also help, help out when uh, we have uh, when there's events going on with uh, that they do uh, runs, other runs, uh, poker runs and stuff like that for cancer and anything that's going on. We donate to that cause because I mean I think we need to do that. Right. So there's a purpose behind all this, not just, well, yeah, just not that it's, of course it's always a good time, but yeah, there's also you're giving back as well. So we, yes, we've yeah. done toys for tops, we've done coats for kids, we've done um, we give back to the schools, backpacks. Up, yeah. We've done. Done, uh, we donate to both schools. Actually, now we give three scholarships. Wow. Uh, and uh, what happens is they have to be from one of the local high schools, one of the three local high schools, and okay. they have to come to school to one of our local universities. So our money stays here. In wow, Vegas. so you keep it within the community. Yes, that's that's awesome. We want, we Smart. Want our, our people to stay here. That's what it's all about. You know, so keep, keep them here in town. Do you think this is going to become what it is 17 years later? We hope so. We hope. I mean, like you said, you know, uh, we lost years because of COVID right. uh, and this year we almost lost it to, uh, to a fire I mean uh, yeah we, we had the fire we did we had a we usually give a bike away or wrap a lot of bike this year we had it but with the fire it just yeah. it went haywire and then and then guess what happened after that we got the floods oh man <laughs> so now we're dealing with floods so I mean every night we're hoping nobody gets you know goes away in a flood right so, right so I mean and now we have like you said we have a I think there's 13 committee members now. Wow. Which includes uh, me and him. Uh, we're brothers, my wife, brother in law, sister in law. Awesome. So, I mean, and we have uh, also com uh, community members. Guys right, there. right. So, and we do all this, we do this all for free from, from us. Wow. You know, we don't get paid a dime. So, any money that we make, it goes back to the rally so we can continue make, making this right, a right. successful event. So, we don't, we don't make, we don't profit nothing. The only thing we do get out of it is a headache and tiredness. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. We start planning this uh, on Monday morning. So once we're done wow. here today, we start at it on Monday morning yeah. and we do it all year round. And then it's, once it's, it's here, it's here. And, you know, we want it over for us because we're tired. We're, right, right. We're, we're doing it. I mean, you guys know, you guys run through other things and see things. It's not easy to put this. 
this song, you know, and, and actually this year, uh, we'd like to thank like uh, Xfinity, the city of Las Vegas, the county, and this different businesses around right. town that have helped. My committee members, all my committee members have uh, done great for me this year. Right now we're going to do a bike rodeo. I don't know okay. if you guys have ever seen those bike rodeos. Oh, that's up the street, right? Yes, yeah, so okay. we'll be out the west, okay. west parking lot, so we'll be out there. So okay. I mean, there's 13 of us and we're spitting. More than, more than one way. <laughs> right, right, right. Our blood drive, uh, I don't know if you were uh, aware of our blood drive. So there's a blood drive going on right across the street. Okay. okay. And uh, this blood drive is actually the, they collect the most units of blood in the whole state. Really? So if you get, uh, if you get blood at this rally, you actually get a shirt that's custom made for the rally. No other uh, blood drive does that. Wow, and wow. they do it for us because we get the most blood. Right. So that, that just is testimony to the biker community that, you know, everybody portrays us as all dirty bikers and gangsters and this and that, and we're not. We're giving. I mean, you're never going to find a more giving person. I mean, right. you know that. Right, I mean, right. how much have you donated out of yourself? I know you do. Right, no, Because for we sure. all do. The, the bikers are just that. That's the way we are. All bikers are like that. So I'd like to thank all the bikers that came out. Even the rain is looking at yeah. beautiful. Beautiful day today. Yeah, it turned out. We've been here since Thursday. I was like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? And, you yeah. know, here we are. So thank you guys for throwing such a great event though, and for having us as well. Yeah, thank you. You thank know, you Eddie also, Eddie, Eddie helps us a lot. Eddie you know, so with the 5 of 5 bagger. Yeah, he helps us out uh, a lot. So, and like I said, there, I can't mention everybody and thank everybody because it's a... Uh, there's so many, there's so many people that do help right, us out. Right, right. You know, whatever it is, you know, I mean, different local uh, businesses, like Xfinity, uh, the city, you know, just different areas. West Las Vegas High School, West Las Vegas. Out there to help us out. And then, uh, you know, I'd like to thank the, the real people that, that help us out the most is, uh, is our family, because we put so much effort in it. And this weekend, I mean, my daughter's right here, she's with me, seven year old. She wow. has to sacrifice, you know, dad not being home, dad is right, home. Right. You know, so we're here, our families are home, you know. That's right. They're like, they don't see us, which is good because you don't want to see us. <laughs> Hey, but thank you guys, man. We appreciate everything. We appreciate you having us, man. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, you know, I feel like this is one of those hidden gems. And I feel like if you guys are watching, man, next year we'll get the dates and we'll start pushing as well for. for uh... It's always the last full weekend of July. Okay. Always the last full weekend of July, right here at the Plaza Park. They did want us move it to the rodeo ground okay. and we were like no way people like to come here because of the buildings and where it's at we don't want to put it in some dusty old arena right this right. is where it's going to be and this right. is where it's always going to be so there it is you guys 17th annual rough rider motorcycle rally art and Ernest. thank you guys so much for joining us man we appreciate it thank you Here I'm with Raul. What's up, Raul? How do you, man? Oh, good. How are you? Good. Thank you for speaking with us. Now, where'd you ride from? Uh, Lamar, Colorado. Well, is that how far is that from here? Uh, four hours. Woo! It's a good little smash. Yeah, we just came this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. And you guys gonna stay over or head back home or what? Yeah. We got a room at the Best Western, and then we'll. Is your first time with this rally? Yes. Okay. What do you think so far? Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Good time, huh? Yeah, I was expecting a little bigger, but. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, it's cool. You know how it works. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, bro. Appreciate, it, man. You all guys right. be safe. Yeah. All right. I'm with Joaquin Romero from Espanola, New Mexico. Espanola, now I met someone else, about an hour, an hour from here? Yeah, about an hour from here. How, are you guys staying here? Yeah, I'm staying here at uh, Holiday Inn Express. Now I know we partied last night, we're gonna party again tonight? Heck yeah, we're gonna turn <laughs> it up, man, we had a good time. That's right, that's right. Good so, music, good food, good drinking, good hospitality, and great service. You know, that's one thing, the hospitality around here, man, is, is uh, New Mexico is amazing. And we, we appreciate that. But uh, uh, is this your first time at this rally? Yeah, my first time at this rally, yes. Having a good time so far? Oh yeah, having a blast. Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of cool people, man. New Mexico is full of like, I said, like I said, the vibes are good, the energy is good. Um, yeah. And we're having a blast. Oh yeah, it's great out here. Thanks for coming out here, Bob. No, nah, thanks for having us, brother. Yeah, it was appreciate it. It's a pleasure to have you here, man. And it's cool to see people like you out here be interacting with us in here. You know what? Here. We do it uh, because we love what we do, but also as long as everyone else loves it, we're going to keep showing up, man. I hope you keep until coming they, until they give us the boot, we'll, we'll keep coming. Well, you keep coming because you can always welcome here. I hope you come down to Espanol, New Mexico. Thank you, Joaquin. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. All right. You guys Espanol, New Mexico. Shout out to Big Bob, Tales of the King. Thank you, bro.
All right, guys, I'm right here with Beto. What's up, Beto? All the way from Col what? Pueblo, Colorado. Yeah. So you're out here for the event? Yeah, so Eddie Atencio, all in Nuevo Mexico, Albuquerque, Las Vegas, West Tapatia, everywhere. We support each other. So in Colorado, they come up to our events and we come down here. So we're like a brotherhood. And you guys, the run is happening August 20th in Pueblo, Colorado. We were gonna be, we're gonna be back there as well to support Robert and the uh, the foundation. So we'll see you guys there August 20th. Yeah, August 20th, Isaiah Via Pondo motorcycle run. All right, see you guys there, King Glad. Yeah. I'm here. I am with Lulu and Claudia, and you guys rode in from where? Pueblo, Colorado. How was the ride? It was beautiful. Um, no rain. It was clear the whole way. And how long is that ride? It's about three and a half hours. Okay. See, you see, women ride, man. They ride their bikes. And they're not afraid. Yeah. Claudia, was the back uh, rough? No. No. no? Okay. That's a little bit of construction. Lulu's not a wild uh, rider. <laughs> and and uh, Pueblo, Colorado, you guys all support each other. I've noticed New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona. Mm -hmm. yep. And you guys will be at the, the run on May 20th? Yes. So we're here to support New Mexico, of course, and thank you for supporting us with the Isaiah Via Pondo run. Uh, that'll be August 20th in Pueblo, Colorado. And we will be back out there, you guys, uh, always having a good time supporting the cause. Ladies, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Have a thank safe you. trip home, and we'll, and, uh, and we'll see you guys soon. What's going on, guys? I'm right here with Jake. And Jake, you also rode in from Pueblo. He's right on. Yeah. And what, so how long, when did you start riding? That's a, that's a, that's a cool story. Well, the first Harley I got, I was 16 years old. Wow. Yeah, and then after, right after I got married, my wife didn't like me driving them, so I had a to get away from driving yeah, the bike, yeah. and then when she passed on, I, went and I, I got me another Harley, and I've been driving since. Awesome. So. And now you're old. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're old. You're old now. I'm a 70. I'm 76. I'll be wow. 77 now in January. You're still going. Yeah, January 1st. Yeah. I'm still going at it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so, for that. Oh yeah. Inspiration. I got my daughter there. You know, I've, ever since she was little, I I showed her and my son how to how to ride. You know? Right. Right. She's a tough one, man. She gets in there and she does a good job, man. Awesome, awesome. Man, she goes all the way from Pueblo, from Pueblo to here. That's right. Awesome, man. Jake. Well, thank you, brother. All right, you Huh? Safe riding. Safe riding. All right, yeah. I sure will. As long as, long as I can. Yeah. <laughs> New Mexico at Sanchez Cycles. Once again, I did it. Came unprepared, but uh, here we are. I'm right here with Mr. Sanchez himself, the owner of the shop, and uh, his partner, TT. Yep. And bro, what do you got going on here? We uh, we just build bikes. It's a one-stop shop. You know, paint, custom, your tires, your custom paint, your handlebars. Uh, whatever so you, guys you want. Oil changes, paints, customs, everything. But we're fully uh, Harley certified technicians. Here. Okay, nice. Yeah, so we know what the dealership wants, and yeah, tires, custom rims, oil services, you name it, we could do it. And can they find on Instagram, website, and all that? Yes, stuff? Instagram, Sanchez Cycles, Facebook, Sanchez Cycles. Uh, we're all out there. So hit us up. Let us know. We could. Uh, yeah, we're getting ready for the Rough Riders Run this weekend. Uh, we'll be out there in Las Vegas, New Mexico, putting it down with Eddie and all the crew out there. Um, and uh, that's that's what we're here for. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 They're, thank you for having us, man. Appreciate right it. Right on. Yeah. Thank Bob, you. have a good one. Yeah. There it is, guys. We hope you enjoyed this special episode. We're at the 17th Annual Rough Rider Motorcycle Rally in Las Vegas, New Mexico. We appreciate all the love and support. We're going to go inside and we're going to watch Sin Balky on the after party. Guys, stay blessed. Stay safe. King life.